morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee and Chat with Hallie Bridgman and Merry Christmas. It's Christmas morning. I hope that you've had an amazing morning and you have time in between the chaos of opening presents and the uh, time it is to cook Christmas dinner to have a few minutes to sit back and chat about my books. So we've had an amazing weekend. Uh, we went to the Creation Museum with some friends all day Friday, then spent the night and went to the Ark Encounter on Saturday. And while we were there, Greg bought me my new coffee cup. Look, it's the perfect size, it's the perfect shape, it's thick ceramic, I love it so much. And it has the Ark on it in the water. It's like my new favorite coffee cup. So I'm having that this morning. So today's question is, did I find that I had done something wrong by having Tony Viscoli date an unsaved woman? And we're talking about the book Sapphire Ice today. And Sapphire Ice is free if you read an ebook. And uh, the, the background for those of you who don't know, Tony Viscoli is a very, very devout Christian, a saved man. And he uh, is attracted to Robin and pursues her and starts dating her. And she is not a Christian she does not trust God. She does not trust men. And he feels very drawn to her and very compelled to date her. And so uh, every once in a while, I get a really cutting review from someone who is offended by the fact that he doesn't see that he doesn't see anything wrong with dating an unsaved woman. And uh, and so this this question was clearly from a reader who is unhappy, like some of these reviewers are. So. <clears throat> Do I find anything wrong with Tony Viscoli dating an unmarried, an unsaved woman? And the fact is that the Bible says that we're not to do it. The Bible says not to be unevenly yoked. And by that, it's, you know, unevenly yoked means uh, you would, you're not supposed to seek out an unsaved person as your spouse because that puts your household out of harmony with God, you know, out of, uh, out of balance. And Jesus has told us to let him take our yoke, let him take the burden of our life from him or for, for let him bear the burden of our life. And if you have an unsaved person in the relationship, then they're not relinqu relinquishing their burden uh, of the yoke to Christ. And it creates an unbalanced home. <clears throat> and also, when you have a saved person and an unsaved person, there's a higher possibility that the unsaved spouse can lead the saved spouse like away from God and toward sin. And so, yes, there's a problem with that. And and if you are married already and then one of you becomes saved and one of you does not become saved, that's not what this is talking about. This is talking about you're already a Christian. You're already following God. You're already doing that. And then you start dating someone who does not. And that's what T Tony did. But the fact is, is that Tony knew it was wrong. He knew it was wrong the whole time he did it. He knew it was wrong when his friend Barry confronted him about it. And, uh, <clears throat> and we get the memory of Barry confronting him about it as he's sitting in his office prepared to break it off with Robin. And uh, then the shift of the story happens and things start happening. And I'm not going to ruin the story for you if you've not read it. But the fact is, is that Tony knew it was wrong all along. However, <clears throat> he felt very drawn to her. Tony is a very prayerful man. He... Uh, he felt physically drawn to her. That was where the, the attraction was initially. Like he was, you know, and uh, I don't know if, if in real life, if God is going to uh, put someone unsaved in our path that he knows in his, you know, infinite uh, omniscience <clears throat> that something good is going to come out of it. But we do know that God has promised us that all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. For those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Tony was definitely called according to God's purpose. 
And whether it was right or wrong for him to seek out a relationship with Robin, whether God placed her in his path or whether he just ignored, you know, the danger signs of doing it and and went forward anyway, whatever that may be, in the end, God worked it toward good. Robin came to know Christ, obviously, in a, in a Christian romance. <laughs> You're going to have to end up with both people following God. But... Uh, and they became a very strong couple with a very strong faith in Christ. Uh, the only thing I can think of to compare it to is David and Bathsheba. You know, Bathsheba was married. David pursued her. They committed adultery, which is a sin. And then David arranged, after Bathsheba got pregnant with his child, arranged to have Bathsheba's husband killed which is murder. And so we have, we have, uh, adultery, we have murder and then they get married and that baby is, as taken by God, it dies. And then David and Bathsheba have Solomon. <clears throat> so, you know, and who was the wisest man in the world? And in the line of Christ, you know, the house of David. And so it wasn't good that David pursued Bathsheba. It wasn't in the will of God that Bathsheba committed adultery and uh, bore David a child when she was married with her, already married to her husband, who then was murdered. None of that is good. None of that is righteous. But God turned it and made it good because David was, David loved God and was called according to his purpose. And so the same thing with Tony, you know, it's not good for an unsafe person to seek a relationship or for a safe person to seek a relationship with an unsafe person. And I wouldn't recommend someone go and do that. But in the end, God can take that and turn it to good if that was his plan. And Tony would have ended it with Robin if the shift of her heart hadn't happened when it did. And that would have been the right thing to do. I don't think that we're called to separate ourselves from the unsaved. I don't think that that's what God wants us to do. And, you know, we interact with unsaved people all the time. We're good friends with them. We fellowship with them. And the whole time, we're supposed to be living righteously and for God. Tony did not sin with Robin. Uh, he simply fell in love with an unsaved woman. But continuing the relationship and asking her to marry him would have been going against God's word. And so, you know, he had already made the decision to end that. So I hope that that answers your question. I don't know if it will uh, appease you. And I'm sure that I'll regularly get really bad reviews from that. But that's okay. Because in the end, Robin becomes saved and... Uh, it's a really amazing story. And if you haven't read it yet, like I said, it's free. So thank you for your question. And uh, I hope that you finish the book so that you can see how well it ends and how God uses that. And I hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas. And I will see you again on New Year's Day. And uh, God bless you. <laughs>